Um, I'm, uh, I have a little pot here, a pot that I threw yesterday, and I'm going to trim it. And when I went to trim it, I pulled out this chuck. I went to put it on top of, of it, and I didn't want to sit it on the rim because the rim's kind of asymmetrical. By intention, by the way, for those of you that are going to want to comment that, oh, that's not perfectly round. That's not my intention. But at any rate, I was going to put this on there and it wouldn't fit. So uh, rather than trimming it on the wheel, I decided what I would do is I'll take a piece of styrofoam or foam rubber, I mean, put it upside down on that. It's still pretty soft. hope it doesn't collapse. And just trim it by hand. This also gives you a real kind of asymmetrical look, which is what I'm trying to get, is real loose kind of quality on, on this pot. So I'm going to just take this cheese cutter and use that to cut around the pot like that and you can even wiggle it once or twice like that if you want to put a slight design in it but just the movement of your hand is going to make it kind of have an even quality to it so that's basically trimmed I don't care if this has a little bit of heft to it a little bit of weight uh, I could do that again if I wanted to bring it in even more. Then I tap the bottom so that it goes in slightly. So it's not going to rock on the bottom. And that's it. Flip it over. Put a dent in it in my hand a little bit there, but that's okay too. If I didn't like it, I'll push it back out. Well, that's done. So let Rachel come and zoom in right on the foot and see how, how the, when you give it that angle, you see the shadow that's created under there? That gives it a little bit of lift, and that's really important in my opinion. It makes the pot visually seem to lift off the table slightly. So that's it. Just a short little video. We're kind of experimenting to see how this looks on YouTube, taken from an iPhone.